in practice, after running many suicides, Ruben walked up to the free throw line and he made 13 of 25 free throws. Well, in the girls' basketball practice, Stephanie, who just joined basketball for the first time, she finally realized that basketball is a better sport than soccer, so she just joins basketball, and she only makes four of 42. Obviously needs a little bit of practice, right? So the question is, if we can assume that from this point forward, every time Stephanie shoots a free throw, she makes it. My question is, what is the minimum number of free throws Stephanie would have to make to equal or surpass Ruben's free throw percentage? This is assuming that all of Stephanie's free throws are successful and consecutive. So we're changing what Stephanie is doing. Let's first just get a glance at this. Let's look. Ruben right now is shooting 52%. Stephanie right now is shooting nine, oh, just about 10%. She's got a ways to go, doesn't she? So we're going to change Stephanie. So let's go plus X and plus X. The reason for that, this means that every attempt from this point forward will be a successful attempt. I'm going to solve for X. Thirteen times forty two is five forty six. Five forty six plus thirteen x equals one hundred plus twenty five x. make sense of this answer and then answer the final question again. This is a four point question on your test. One question is can you su successfully set up the equation? The second point is do you correctly show the work to get the answer? The third one is what is your answer and then what is the final answer because you have to make sense of it. So in the past some students when I grade their exams give me an answer like this and I have to mark it wrong and the reason why is can Stephanie make 37.1 free throws? You can only make whole numbers. She makes 37, she makes 38, she makes 35. You can't make a partial free throw. So I know that can't be the final answer. Other students say it should just be 37, some say 38. <laughs> now when I asked for reasoning, students said, well, it should be 37 because this number is not equal to or greater than 5, so I don't round up. Okay? And then other students say, no, it should be 38. Turn to your partner. You have five seconds to decide. It should be 37 or 38, and what's your reasoning? back up here for time purposes. So if she hits 37.1, which we know is impossible, now she has directly met Ruben's percentage. Anything below 37.1, and she is below the shooting percentage of Ruben's. So if she only does 37, she's below his shooting percentage. If she does 38, she's actually exceeded. But the question was, how many successful, what is the minimum number of successful consecutive free throws Stephanie needs to make in order to meet or succeed Ruben's shooting percentage. The answer is 38. If she's at 37, which I understand the math you normally use, but if she's at 37, she hasn't even met it yet. She hasn't exceeded or met. So it has to be 38 free throws, successful consecutive free throws. Okay. 